Hi there everyone, welcome back to We're Yard here in the loft with me, Jenny Kirk. It's really good to see you again and today I thought that I would cover a subject which has been brought up uh, in one of the Friday videos and that is how to make trees, realistic trees, the easy way. <laughs> Well, I've um, had a few dotted around the layout that I've been building and a lot of you have been asking just how it is that um, I build these. Well, this is the materials that I've been using and it's from Woodland Scenics. All of this is from Woodland Scenics and you can see they're realistic tree kits. Those are the armatures, uh, basically the plastic trunks and branches. And uh, you can see here we've got a variety of different tree making materials and over here we've got um, this stuff I actually really really do like I'm not even sure whether it's an organic material it does look like it's grown on something but um, what we're going to be doing is using this variety of different materials all from the Woodland Scenics range and I've got some open bags there and then uh, if I need any more I've got a whole load more stuff here it does go a long long way and uh, if you actually see the Woodland Scenics uh, stand at uh, exhibitions like Alexandra Palace or Worley, then they do sell these tree making the Woodland Scenics way, they, these sort of learning bags. And they do them for landscaping and all sorts. And they're a really, really good way to learn and start how to do this. And it has everything that you need in there. And uh, this is the magic ingredient, the Hob E Tack Adhesive. And uh, what we're going to be using this for is uh, to stick on the foliage. But you've got to use this in a certain way. What you need to do is to paint it on and then leave it to go sort of like fairly dry but tacky. It never really fully sets hard. It stays very sticky. Um, it sticks to the armatures really, really well and then allows you to stick the foliage to it. So I'm going to crack on. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick out uh, two or three of these armatures and then uh, I'm going to coat them in the hobby tack and I will show you what these look like. Then uh, we shall uh, go through the rest of the steps. So I've picked out from the bag a few different uh, tree armatures and the bags come as a mix. So we've got here the um, armature for a conifer tree. You see it attached there to its base. We just uh, twist and split these off and uh, we can mount the tree into the base. Now you don't need to use the base but uh, certainly in the building stage I find the base quite uh, useful to just hold the tree from uh, lying down flat on the ground. There's a fairly big tree and you can see they're absolutely flat when you get them out of the pack like this and I've got a medium one and a small one. So I'm going to go to the next stage and show you how to prepare these armatures. So we've got the armatures uh, bent into shape and they're actually pretty easy to bend. Um, it's difficult to film and show you at the same time. But the plastic that they're made from has this weird degree of flex so you can kind of bend them into shapes and they do stay put and there's a good deal of resilience to them so you can kind of make the shapes that you want um, ready for putting the foliage on and you can see I've also bent up a medium and a small as well and the pine tree. The pine tree you've got to be a little bit careful with because otherwise you end up with just kind of like this spiral. Um, but hopefully once we get the hobby tack on and the foliage uh, that will start to uh, uh, sort itself out as you can see. Um, you have to be a little bit careful to balance them. If you want you can put a little dab of glue of some description on the underside, stick them to a piece of wood. Um, and that will just help them out. But the next stage is the hobby tack. It comes with a little brush inside the lid and we're going to just um, put a very thin coat. You don't want it too thick, but a thin coat on the ends of the branches anywhere where there's going to be foliage and you know do both, both sides of the branch because um, that will come clear when we're putting in place the foliage. So I'm going to go on and I'm going to put a coat of the hobby tack 
on the branches and then uh, it's simply a case of uh, letting that dry. So I've used the hobby tack adhesive you can see there it um, goes on as this sort of white sticky glue and uh, do not put anything into this at this stage. Uh, the instructions are very clear but what you wanted to do is to let this go off and kind of dry and when it starts to go clear that's the point that you're ready to put in the uh, the foliage and it's quite forgiving uh, it doesn't ever really seem to dry thoroughly so you could conceivably do this stage and then come back a following day although um, I think it suggests uh, between 20 minutes and uh, half an hour or so uh, and it should be good to go. So we're just going to put those to one side whilst we wait. So we've given these uh, a little bit of time, about uh, half an hour, and you can see there's still some little patches of white, but most of it has turned clear. So what we're going to do now is start to work on the clumping foliage. And first up, I've got a uh, conifer clump foliage. So reach on down, you get a lump of this, and it's kind of a bit like um, a broken up uh, sponge. And it works better if you've got two hands, but you're kind of just squeezing this in. And the armature is very sticky at this point, and it just kind of all goes in place. And uh, so I'm going to stick this down into the bag and roll it about a bit. I'm going to try and get some of the foliage all the way around it and then all we're trying to do is just squeeze that in and uh, kind of just cover all of that armature give it a good squeeze and that just sticks this into the glue and hopefully what we pull out the other end is a reasonable facsimile of a conifer. I'm just moving some of this stuff around. If you get a clump that's too big you can always break that up but uh, then let's try and shake off some of that loose. So I'm going to bring the tree out and um, I'm going to just find somewhere to place it and what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on uh, squeezing down this foliage now. I need two hands for this and just try and shape the tree. So I've trimmed off some of the excess that was a bit loose and uh, I'm just going to leave it there and uh, let that hobby tack inside go fully off. And uh, you may get a few bits that fall off, you can squeeze them back on as and when required. But that there is our conifer tree. So I'm going to turn my attention now to the deciduous trees and for this we use some different clumping foliage and uh, what we want to do is um, I've got some of this uh, medium green clump fo foliage that's quite fine I find so we can use that to give us a tree that's got maybe a little bit less vegetation but then I'm also going to break open some of this dark green clump foliage and uh, get to work with some of that so I've used the same technique and uh, this is the medium sized tree so you can see there all the foliage pushed into place it just kind of sticks into uh, that armature and you can see there it's reasonably well secured uh, you can go over it and use some kind of spray glue just to really firm it up a bit but I found generally speaking you don't need to do that so what I'm going to do next is uh, I'm going to use um, some of the leaf foliage which is this and that makes up a different type of tree again. I'm going to use that on the big armature. And with this, it's kind of almost like a plant matter. And you can see there's some sticks in there. You don't really want that. Um, although I guess you can use some of this as small trees and bushes on its own. But what I'm going to be doing is teasing out some lumps of this and then just uh, by hand sticking them onto the armature. Just make sure that... Uh, the kind of the grain of this stuff goes in the right way so that the tree looks the part. So I'm going to get on, I need both hands and uh, I'm going to uh, make up this tree. And there we have it, that's taken maybe 45 seconds worth of pushing the stuff in. 
You can work and work on this, but like I said, I've done this quite quickly. And I really like um, this kind of foliage. Um, I think this gives a really good effect. Um, you can take a little bit more care and attention with the angles that uh, you push this stuff on. But generally speaking, I think you get a pretty decent tree from this stuff. Uh, and again, if you're worried about little bits falling off, uh, you can use that as uh, just like fallen leaf matter underneath the trees, not a problem. Or you can try and stick it back on with a little bit of spray glue. And I find it's alright if a little bit of the armatures poke through in places. I think you know, it just kind of works as a real tree. And by using all these different types of trees and foliage and different sizes, you can really start to build up quite a good forest. So I'm going to go ahead and that final tree armature there, I'm going to uh, make up. And uh, then we have our uh, quartet of trees ready to add to the layout. Again, quick uh, work with this uh, leaf foliage and uh, I think it works pretty well. If you're worried about the trunks looking a little bit uniform, you can uh, mat them down with a, a bit of a colour wash, a bit of paint. Uh, that works pretty well. But there you have it. Quartet of trees made really easily. And if you want to have a go at making trees yourself the easy way, using the Woodland Scenics method, then uh, don't forget to check out the links in the description box and that will take you to a uh, online retailer where you can pick up your own versions of these kits and uh, have a go yourself. It's always worth to experiment and you'll end up with trees which look unique to your layout. Um, no two trees are exactly the same and I think it's a great and actually quite an expensive way to build up large forests if you want to cover a lot of area and you can have an awful lot of fun just you know, experimenting with these trees. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. And if you want to help the channel and help us to make more of the videos that you like, then don't forget that you can also check us out over on Patreon as well. And any money donated through there goes towards buying products to be able to make more of these really great how-to videos. But it's been brilliant to have your company up here in Weir Yard. This is me, Jenny Kirk, saying don't forget to like, subscribe and share as well. Let other people know about the work that we're doing here. And I look forward to having your company next time. Until then, you take really good care of yourself. This is me, Jenny Kirk, saying bye for now. Today's video has been brought to you in part thanks to the generous donation of my fans on Patreon. And an extra special huge thanks goes out to Anthony Kidson, Michael Churchwood, Bob Threeton, Alec Ralph, Anthony Hunt, William Wade, Wayne Johns, Offshore Allen, and oorail.co.uk. If you'd like to help support the show, head on over to patreon.com slash Jennifer Kirk. Thank you. Today's video has been brought to you by my books, Bringing Home the Stars, Twinkle Little Star, and also you can get the complete comic collections of All Over the House, Books 1, Books 2, and also the wacky zany Life of Knobty Mouse. Thanks and catch you later.